I feel deeply privileged to extend a warm welcome to you on the occasion of release of a commemorative postage stamp on Srimat Anagarika Dharmapala, the great Buddhist thinker and visionary. It is indeed an honor to welcome the President of India on this momentous occasion. As always, he has been very kind in acceding to our request to release this stamp. I thank you, sir, for sparing the time from your very busy schedule for this event. Your presence is a great inspiration and encouragement for us all. I welcome Sri Ravi Shankar Prasad, Honorable Minister for Communications and IT and Law and Justice, and take this opportunity to thank him for his constant encouragement and support to the Department of Posts. His guidance at all times has been truly invaluable. I extend a cordial welcome to Professor Sudarshan Siniviratne, the High Commissioner of Sri Lanka to India, Mrs. Siniviratne, Sri Abhairatne, Postmaster General of Sri Lanka, the Secretary External Affairs, and other distinguished eminent guests gathered here today, including members of the Mahabodhi Society. I am truly delighted to welcome you all. We in India are happy to be home to people who profess and practice various faiths and beliefs. This is also the land where Buddha was born and attained enlightenment and from where Buddha started to preach his message of compassion and nonviolence, which is even more relevance and resonance in the new millennium. In keeping with this tradition, we take great pride in bringing out a postage stamp commemorating the great Buddhist thinker and doer of his time, Srimad Anagarika Dharmapala. Let me conclude by once again welcome you all to this function. Thank you. It was rightly stated that many eminent people build bridges. And we in the Postal Department commemorate their contribution and outstanding role they have played in the social and cultural life of the country by, with a postal stamp. And today it is indeed one of those days where a great saint, a great builder of bridges, an outstanding Buddhist monk, and above all, a supreme embodiment of interfaith understanding, Shrimant Angadika Dharmapala, is being made immortalized to the release of this stamp. And Mahamayim Rashtrapati Ji, I have a profound sense of personal satisfaction. He was born in September 1864. 2014 is his 150th year. Last year I was in Sri Lanka, where the Sri Lankan government released a stamp in my presence by His Excellency the President in the memory of Sri Vivekananda. What he did for the spread of Buddhism, he came to Bodh Gaya, he died in Sarnath, are already part of his folklore. But as I see the extraordinary role of Vivekananda and Sriman Dharmapala, that under the yoke of imperialism, the people of this part of the world had lost completely their self-confidence. Because of misinformation, malicious campaign, they thought we are worth nobody. And here came two icon who not only revived their self-confidence, but also told them in very clear words that you belong to a heritage which has a very profound past and a very glorious future. Arise, awake, and please accept the great role which destiny beckons for you. I think that profound message of Vivekananda, Swami Vivekananda and Srimad Angarika remains the most telling message. And today it is a great day that when two ancient countries, Sri Lanka and India, are cementing their ties through this great effort of the government of Sri Lanka to issue a stamp in memory of Swami Vivekananda on his 150th anniversary and the government of India releasing a stamp to perpetuate and honor the memory of Srimad Angarika Dharmapala. It is a great occasion 
Mahamahim Rashtrapati Ji, I am sure this unique initiative would not only bridge the distance between the two countries, but also for once reinforce the great cultural ties which is between us for the last so many generations. With these words, Mahamahim Rashtrapati Ji, may I kindly request you to release the stamp. It's indeed a great pleasure for me to be present here today to release a commemorative postage stamp to pay tribute to the great Sri Lankan Buddhist revivalist and writer Srimant Anagarika Dharmapala. I congratulate the Department of Posts for taking this initiative for bringing out a commemorative postage stamp on Srimanth Anagarika Dharmapala. I hope that this gesture will contribute towards further strengthening our bilateral relations between India and Sri Lanka and bring the two nations closer. Historically, India and Sri Lanka have remained natural allies. The relations between the two countries have witnessed the test of time and socio-cultural exchanges by centuries have fostered further close cooperation in various fields. Both the countries have much to learn and imbibe from each other in order to resolve various issues which are the legacies of a protracted period of colonial rule. I am confident that the relations between the two countries will continue to further strengthen in the coming years to the mutual benefit of our two people. Distinguished guests, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Buddhism, one of the major religions of the world, began in India and is a faith based on nonviolence and pursuit of spiritual excellence rather than material aggrandizement. Its principles continue to have great relevance even in this age. Buddhism promotes peace and stability and strongly advocates the spirit of compassion and tolerance. It aims to win the humanity away from war and skirmishes and inspires people to channelize their collective energy towards the betterment of the society. This stamp release on one of the apostles of Buddhism once again reminds us to work relentlessly and collectively to ensure for an era of peace, stability, and friendly bilateral and multilateral ties in order to create an enabling environment for the rapid socio-economic transformations for the people. In this backdrop, it becomes much more imperative to recall the achievements and safeguard for posterity the memories of the great Buddhist thinkers and preachers Srimant Anagarika Dharmapala, who practically lived and breached Buddhist ideals and worked till the last breath of his life to revive Buddhism. Distinguished guests, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Anagarika Dharmapala was one of the founding contributors to Sinhalese Buddhism National, Buddhist nationalism and was also a pioneer in the revival of Buddhism in India. He not only embraced Buddhism but also lent Sinhalese nationalist character. 
he waged a protracted struggle to protect and conserve the foundations of Buddhism in its place of birth, India. He joined the Theosophical Society and spearheaded the reform and revival of the Ceylonese Buddhism and its propagation. He later entered the order of the Buddhist monks as Venerable Sri Dabamitra Dharmapala and is considered a Bodhisattva in Sri Lanka. He was ordained a bhikkhu at Sharanath in 1933 and he died there in December of the same year. In 1891, Srimanta Anagrika Dharmapal went on pilgrimage to the Mahabodhi temple at Bodh Gaya, where the Buddha had attained enlightenment. He decided to work towards restoring its glory. Accordingly, the Mahabodhi Society at Colombo was founded in 1891, and one of its primary aim was the restoration of Buddhist control of the Mahabodhi temples at both Gaya. Many people remember Srimant Anagarika Dharmapala for his religious zeal. But there was another aspect to this towering personality, his practical vision regarding the alleviation of poverty. The voice of Anagarika Dharmapala was also a significant factor in Ceylon's historical struggle for freedom from the British Raj. He spoke of the importance of a firm educational and economic foundation if the struggle for freedom was to succeed. He also concentrated on establishing schools and hospitals in his country. He had a vision of a newly emerging Ceylon which could effectively link up with other countries and forge ahead. In 1893, Dharmapala was invited to attain the World Parliament of Religions in Chicago as a representative of Southern Buddhism, which was the term applied at that time to the Theravada. There he met Swami Vivekananda and like him. He was also a great success at the Parliament of Religion. As I pay my humble homage to this towering personality, I once again congratulate the Department of Posts for bringing out the commemorative postage stamp on Srimant Anagarika Dharmapala, who worked selflessly all his life with a missionary zeal to propagate Buddhist ideals and to restore the glory of Buddhism. Thank you. Jai Hind.